You know, for years Apple has stayed relatively quiet, while rivals like Google, Amazon and Microsoft charged ahead with AI and machine learning initiatives. But things might change in 2024 and some details of Apple's plans could be really, really interesting. The first major signal of Apple's AI ambitions came earlier this month with the launch of the new M3 chip and redesigned MacBook Air laptops. Apple is directly marketing the new MacBook Airs as the world's best consumer laptops for AI. I guess the company has never before so overtly tied its hardware to AI capabilities. However, a closer look reveals Apple is still playing catch-up when it comes to AI. At least for now. The AI features for the new MacBook Air mainly revolve around the laptop's ability to run third-party generative AI apps like Microsoft's Copilot, Adobe Firefly and others. Apple's own AI-powered apps and services are still lacking compared to rivals. But that could change drastically in the coming months if reports about Apple's internal Apple GPT project prove accurate. Let's dive into what we know so far about Apple GPT and Apple's broader AI strategy. Well, the company has been secretly working on its own large language model, LLM AI, similar to OpenAI's ChatGPT. Codenamed Apple GPT, it's powered by its proprietary LLM framework known as AJAX. AJAX, interestingly, is based on Google's machine learning framework, JAX, and has been utilized by AI startup DeepMind for research acceleration. Now, for the past several months, Apple has been conducting internal testing of Apple GPT, letting select employees interact with the chatbot and provide feedback. However, tight restrictions are in place. Employees need special approval to use Apple GPT. Its outputs cannot be used for developing consumer products yet, and it can only answer queries based on the data it was initially trained on. Details on Apple GPT's architecture are still yet to be public, but we know it has been trained on over 200 billion parameters, exceeding the capabilities of ChatGPT 3.5 as of late 2023. However, rival offerings like OpenAI's newer GPT-4 are believed to already surpass Apple GPT based on some early benchmark leaks. Now, Apple's secrecy around Apple GPT is understandable, given the privacy and security risks associated with generative AI models. Major tech companies like Google, Samsung, and even the US government have prohibited employee use of ChatGPT over fears that sensitive data could be leaked through the chatbot's outputs. About the release of Apple GPT, speculation varies widely. A major public unveiling is expected at Apple's annual Worldwide Developers Conference, WWDC, in June 2024. For this, some anticipate a potential launch in late 2024, while others believe it might remain an internal tool or may never be publicly released. You know, security concerns and Apple's strong focus on privacy significantly influence these decisions. The company has notably restricted the use of external AI tools by its employees, likely to prevent data breaches aligning with the broader industry's focus on securing AI technologies. For these reasons, one area where Apple may have a significant edge over competitors is privacy. The company has long prided itself on its pro-consumer stance around data privacy and security. For AI applications, this could give Apple a huge advantage. Currently, all major generative AI chatbots like ChatGPT, Bard, and Bing's AI operate by sending user queries to remote servers in the cloud for processing. This creates privacy vulnerabilities where your data could potentially be logged, stored, or used to train the AI models further without your consent. However, Apple has reportedly found a way for its advanced AI models like Apple GPT to run locally on devices like Macs, iPhones, and iPads. A research paper published in late 2023 by Apple engineers titled LLM in a Flash, Efficient Large Language Model Inference with Limited Memory, detailed techniques to deploy large language models on devices with limited RAM and processing power. If Apple GPT and future AI initiatives can work on device without communicating with remote servers, I guess it would be a game changer for privacy. Of course, Apple's privacy assurances should be taken carefully given the company's mixed track record and lack of transparency around data practices. You know, while Apple promotes itself as a privacy leader, it has faced issues like unbundled diagnostic data sharing, device analytics, Siri audio recordings, and alleged collusion with government agencies like the NSA. 
Moreover, some experts argue that using AI models locally doesn't remove privacy risks, it just shifts them from the cloud to the device level. The huge datasets used to train foundation models like Apple GPT may still contain personal information from sources across the internet. If those training datasets have privacy leaks from the start, using the model on device does little to deal with those concerns. On device AI is only as private as the datasets used to create them, argues John Callis, a well respected figure in the field of computer security. Apple will need to be radically transparent about their training pipelines to have any credibility on developing true privacy for LLMs. Moreover, there are also open questions around what happens when on device AI outputs get shared through apps, messages, emails, and other cloud services, negating any local privacy benefits. And without clear security safeguards like end-to-end -end encryption of AI model training data, even Apple's on-device approach has potential pitfalls. According to reports from Bloomberg and analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, the first areas set to get an Apple GPT boost are Apple's virtual assistant Siri and core apps like Messages, Mail, Photos, and iMovie. Let's look at how Apple GPT could enhance these offerings. Let's just say it, folks. Siri has fallen behind rivals like Alexa and Google Assistant over the past decade when it comes to natural language understanding and conversational capabilities. But Apple GPT could help Siri turn the tables with more coherent back-and-forth dialogues, broader general knowledge, and the ability to handle complex multi-step queries. Imagine being able to have fluid conversations with Siri to help research topics, get advice, break down complex subjects into simpler terms, and accomplish creative tasks like drafting emails, documents, or social media posts. Apple GPT could finally make Siri feel like a truly intelligent digital assistant, rather than a voice command robot. Apple GPT could also add powerful AI enhancements to Apple's Messages app across iPhone, iPad, and Mac. The AI could automatically summarize long conversation threads or documents shared over messages, providing concise drafts to catch you up quickly. It could also help with quickly crafting thoughtful, naturalistic replies instead of mundane one-liners. Next, generative AI is already revolutionizing image and video editing in apps like Adobe Firefly and OpenAI's Dolly. Apple's Photos app could integrate similar Apple GPT capabilities to help edit and manipulate your photos in powerful new ways. Easily remove unwanted objects, expand backgrounds, apply clever effects, or upscale and enhance low-quality images using natural language commands. Video editing could get an AI makeover as well. Apple GPT will help with iMovies to automatically sequence video clips into polished edits based on simple prompts or descriptions. You could tell it to create a short video recap of my kid's birthday party, combining these 20 clips with upbeat music and an animated title sequence. And the AI will handle the detailed editing work. And AI writing assistants like Anthropics Claude are already adept at tasks like drafting emails, documents, essays, and reports. Apple GPT could incorporate AI writing assistants like Claude into Apple's Mail app and other Office apps like Pages and Keynote. Beyond the near-term opportunities for Apple GPT, Apple has even grander ambitions for running advanced AI models directly on consumer devices over the long haul. The previously mentioned LLM in a Flash research paper explored techniques to deploy large language models, up to several billion parameters, on devices with resource constraints like Macs and iPhones. Now, Apple's vision for an on-device AI shows us how AI operates in today's cloud. Instead of relying on remote data centers like ChatGPT does, Apple wants the power of AI directly to our personal devices. In fact, the latest M3 chip has dedicated neural engine co-processors to design intensive machine learning tasks on device. And even better is that M3's neural engine gives a 60% performance boost compared to the previous M1 generation. Well, all eyes are now on Apple. Can they truly change AI and make it a seamless, private and locally powered experience for our devices? So that's it, folks. As always, drop an AI in the comments if you're excited about Apple's AI future. Let me know your thoughts too. Stay tuned for more coverage as Apple's AI takes over. See you in the next one, folks. You all take care.